The Bible says we all know in part. Don't you think you also have your doctrinal minuses? Hello friends, I recently had an interview with a Nigerian news outlet and some interesting questions were asked. I am sharing the questions and answers with you because I believe they will help enlighten and explain some misconceptions people have about me and what I am about. Please listen and share this audio so that others can also benefit from it. Blessings. Pastor Sunday at Elia. For the love of God, church and nation. Question 15. The Bible says we all know in part. Don't you think you also have your doctrinal minuses? When it comes to doctrines, nobody should have his own doctrines. The way Christianity is designed is that nobody should have his or her own doctrines. This is a Nigerian reality and occurrence when every church has their own doctrine. It shouldn't be in Christianity. In Christianity, truth must be paramount. Truth must be absolute and universal. The doctrines of Christianity are supposed to be the same everywhere, either in Greece, America, Brazil, Iceland, South Africa, Japan or Libya. Christianity is supposed to be uniform and the same. We shouldn't be saying everybody has his own doctrine. So, that is the problem we are having in the Nigerian church. Every general overseer is his own Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior bringing his own doctrine. This exactly is what we must correct. So, the things I am talking about are not unique to me. The doctrinal errors that I am correcting are not my own opinion. Rather it is what Christianity has stood for from the beginning of ages, before we all were born. Even in Nigeria the things I am presently talking about used to be the norm some time ago. When I was growing up in Nigeria in the 70s and 80s, the born-again Christians those days were not like this. Go back and examine what the believers used to believe. They never had geos. Even when I got born again in deeper life, Pastor Kumai was called Brother Kumai. Everybody was a brother and sister. Even people like Kenneth Hagin was called a brother. There was an equal ground for everybody. No supermen in Christianity. The more God uses you, the humbler you become. So that is the Christianity that is still obtainable all over the world. Go to other countries of the world and confirm. Don't just use the Nigerian reality to judge Christianity. We have lost Christianity in Nigeria. If you want to know what Christianity looks like, go back to the 80s and remember what the Christians used to look like. That is Christianity, but what we have today is a departure and error. It is paganism. It is syncretism. We don't have Christianity again in Nigeria and most of Africa. So, we all have to raise our voices and correct this aberration in the Nigerian church. For the love of God, church and nation by Pastor Sunday at Elia.